Brought to you by RainCloud. Accelerating secure and compliant enterprise cloud adoption. We're back to wrap up this special program, Security in the Cloud, Government Innovations. DevOps can really grease the wheels in a cloud computing environment. It helps to identify bottlenecks between various threads of execution and codifies key modules that allow them to work better together. Here to build on that point, Sri Vazaretti, president and co-founder of Rain Cloud. Sri, thanks very much for coming on the program. What does the term DevOps have to do with federal cloud computing, public sector cloud environments? Thank you for having me. Um, DevOps is a culture of continuous innovation. It's customer-centric innovation, innovating in small batches with continuous feedback. It's, uh, it's what successful companies like Amazon, Facebook, and Google have followed um, to innovate quicker. What's the intersection between that and the challenges that agencies find, uh, agencies in the public sector and other organizations, in trying to innovate during these cloud transitions while at the same time having to continue to meet the missions of the agencies through these systems that they're modernizing? I think the biggest challenge is the compliance and security. Um, the cloud providers have successfully been able to solve majority of the elities, the non-functional like reliability, scalability, but the compliance is still a bottleneck because it is a multi-step process with a, um, you know, with a checklist mindset that is there, and it's harder to automate, mm -hmm. which we are trying really hard to automate, uh, but it's, I think that will continue to be a challenge for a while. The other modernization element that's important here as we think about cloud is data center consolidation and migration, and there are a lot of agencies that are starting to think about whether the capacity that they have in their data centers is necessary moving forward. What does that look like from a DevOps perspective, that consolidation and, and transition transformation process? Uh, I think cloud helps a whole lot in that sense. Um, the Department of Defense recently put out a uh, functional requirements document called uh, Secure Cloud Computing Architecture, which essentially provides the government a way to look at cloud as their virtual data center with a lot of capacity and a lot of um, agility, scalability. So it's much easier now to try to move, have parallel environments running. So the consolidation effort has become much easier and they can take a little bit more risk in trying to modernize the applications as a part of making this move without being worried about all the all the elites. What's the role for automation here as agencies are trying to do all these things? As I said, one of the key challenges that agency leaders tell me about all the time is I've got to modernize a system at the same time that I've got to keep it going in order to be able to push out whatever citizen service is being provided. So how, what's, what's the role for automation here in your view? I think it's been a general theme uh, that all the guests have been touching on. Uh, continuity and automation is, is really what is um, the best that the cloud providers have op, uh, offered because they have allowed this automation by exposing what is known as APIs, the application programming interfaces, which we can have machines drive the workflow steps. By applying uh, machines to do this, um, you know, people can now focus their expertise on what they're good at, the talent. Mm -hmm. and People cannot work 24 by 7, whereas machines can work 24 by 7. So automation really helps in achieving that efficiencies. There is a data deluge underway in government, of course. We talk about it a lot. And the challenge that that is providing is there's more coming in than people are able to sort through. Uh, they can only analyze, defense agencies and intel agencies tell me, what they're, uh, a small fraction of what's coming in. How can they maintain scalability and flexibility in a cloud environment in the midst of that kind of a deluge stream? Right, so the, one of the things that the automation offers is the ability to um, have the factory model. Um, and the factory model where they look at both from an application manufacturing process as well as the data manufacturing process. And if you look at the data manufacturing process, there's data of different kinds, real time, 
batch loads of data, cleansing data, transforming data, and being in, able to, the nature of data is such that, let's say if you take pictures, photographs, the immediate pictures that you want to show people, the good ones that you like, you may leave them on your phone, some you leave on your laptop or distant um, in your house, or some on the cloud. So the cloud providers make it very easy to be able to store a lot of data at scale, but also retrieve the data that you need so you can be agile about performing these analytics and analysis to, to accomplish your mission. Sri Vazareddy, thanks very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you.